I've witnessed it countless times in my career. Those five lights illuminated in the gantry over the start line. But now, for the first time in my life, I'm watching a race from inside the cockpit. Gone from my hands the familiar microphone as I tighten my grip around the wheel. And before I know it, the lights extinguish. My left foot leaps from the clutch and I'm off. So, how did I get here? It all started with a call from Ferrari in January, inviting me to participate in one weekend of a new private championship hosted by the Ferrari Driver Academy called the Florida Winter Series, a month-long educational experience engineered by FDA head Luca Baldessari. We want to be here in the winter to have a series and uh, have a competition in training. So we are here to train, but as well we are training to do competition because, as you said, as you see here, the, the series is based like a, uh, a true uh, FIA um, weekend. I'd been invited to participate in one such weekend in Palm Beach, the second of the four-week programme alongside FDA's three young drivers, Raffaello Marcello, Antonio Fuoco and Lance Stroll, who were joined by eight other talented youngsters looking to perfect their craft in the off-season, such as karting champion Max Verstappen and Canadian F3 driver Nicholas Latifi. This series is kind of like a, a summer camp for, for, for racing drivers. Um, so like all the data is shared, everything, all the debriefs, the video analysis are done kind of together. So there's, with the, that regard, it's not like how it is in Europe. But then obviously, as a racing driver, you always want to be <laughs> the fastest of the drivers. And seeing as we're all teammates here, again, even more so, you always want to beat your teammates. So there is still a competitive angle, but again, we're all here to, to learn, have fun. It all seems great fun, but these are karting world champions, Formula 3 and GP2 drivers, and it'd be my first time ever racing a single-seater, and I'd had just one month to get my 33-year-old post-Christmas body in shape. On the next episode, time to get in shape, but would it be enough to prepare me for the physical challenges that lie ahead?